Starbucks is rising back to catch you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the love and support that you have been giving me throughout the months, even throughout the years. Because it's like, I can't believe this is almost three years of me doing this. So it's really Time block flies by a fast. Well, even though it won't be three years until January, but you know, it, it doesn't feel like this. This is it's already in the middle of the year already. So it's just a blessing. We I, we really have came a long way. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while, please, uh, if you have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please uh, drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also, if you are... You know, you feel like the videos is giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend. Please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, you know, uh, you can share with the empath as well. You know, just going through some dark times or, you know, trying to find their path or even just to find out their sole purpose. Please go ahead and do so. I'm sorry this meditation caught me off guard. Um, and while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on the social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, um, this one, I love this one. It's called Delta Waves Flute, Deepest Spiritual Connection Healing Meditation Music. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, you're awake. Uh, your awakened state isn't about becoming something it's about unbecoming what you you weren't you were meant to be um it's it's just like you know when we go through this you know going through spiritual awakenings going to where we're fully awake seeing things for what they truly are knowing how everything connects in one way or another um it was like I had that <laughs> I had that, what do they call it? Uh, I, I forgot what that, what kind of word I'm trying to touch base on. But when I had that, you know, uh, smack of reality, basically, I'm going to use that word because I can't remember what word I was trying to use. But it has me looking at everything totally different. You know, I said I'm turning a new age. And it was just like, you know, you have to be able to look at things for what they truly are. Look at how far, you know, since you started your journey, how far you have came what you have become, what you have unbecome, you know, I, you know, I've been through so much and it, it's just like such a blessing when I can just like breathe. It feels like, you know, you've been shoving yourself in something that was so small, especially women. We, we know there's times we probably don't put one of our favorite pair of shoes on or whatever, thinking that you can still wear them like they you posed to or those those beautiful heels or something that you really wanted and you're trying to stuff your feet into them and knowing them things give you corns, blisters, and make you want to kick them off as soon as you sit down. It's like that. And it's just like when I really start looking at things, I say, you know what, you have really evolved. You know, you have really evolved. Even though you're still a work in process, you have really evolved. Evolved. Um, and it's just like you are not you're like you're setting shedding old faucets you're shedding old skin that you know that you used to be you know i used to walk around wounded always wanting to tell anybody who would listen you know the things that i went through and you know now i'm just like i'm glad i went through those things because it allowed me to see what my what my compatibility was what things i'm capable of achieving what am i you know what possibility what things that has been placed in my life that has really messed me up mentally emotionally spiritually like broke me down in any kind of way you know has really hurt me for me to be able to use that as my milestone to be able to achieve anything that i wanted um, being able to see things in a more positive light. Yeah, these things has really messed me up in every way. So shape, form, or fashion. But it has strengthened me in so many different ways. 
to where, you know, it allowed me, you know, because at first, you know, I was so hurt, you know, even though yesterday it was like for my birthday, I really never cared for my birthday because it was always an eyesore to me about basically everything that started from me being doomed from the womb. As soon as I got fresh out into the world, it was like I was doomed from day one. But it's like, you know, my dad used to always tell me I was lucky and I never understood what he meant by that because it was just like so many times as darkness tried to kill me. You know, I've been dead and came right back. Been, I mean, I feel like Buffy. <laughs> From Buffy and the Vampire Slayers. If anybody ever watched that series, that child has been dead. <laughs> I don't know how many times. And they had to keep on bringing back. She died like two or three times because they had to keep on bringing back another Slayer. And it's like her mom freaked out. So you're trying to tell me you have died? And it's like, yeah, a few times. But it's like, you know, I was like that time X. I took a licking and kept on ticking. Like, I've. You know, I had near-death experiences, like I've overdosed. My children brought me back. I got hit by a drunk driver head-on to where if you would have seen the vehicle, there's no way you can say that somebody has made it through this, you know, because it was like, you know, like she must got angels around her because there's no way if you got hit head-on, like I seen, you know, headlights in front of me and this man was punching it, doing like a hundred and some miles an hour and did not, you know, I just had a shattered left side and that was it you know being able to say how blessed I am you know because it's like when my dad used to tell me you were lucky and I used to get angry you know even though he kept on telling me I was lucky and I said there's no way I'm lucky look at all the things that happened to me and it's not about the things that happened to me but a lot of things that happened to me I was able to overcome that was the blessing being able to use that is my my opening act <laughs> towards everybody to let you know you know things have been placed in your life to to break you down to kill you to do anything it has in a negative sense and when you can bounce back from that you know it, it's just like that's where your strength is you know when there's times when y'all open up your hearts and you allow yourself to be vulnerable for that moment and say, Rosalind, these are the things that I've been through. And it breaks me down and I cry when y'all tell me the things that y'all been through. And I know y'all probably heard me say that before, but it has. Like, you know, I thought my stuff can affect me just by thinking about it. Your stuff can affect me because I, I visualize what you've been through. When you're telling me your story about the things you've been through and I'm able to see it in my own heart in my own eyes and it breaks me down like oh my god you know and i send uplifting love comfort whatever you need i try to send it towards you and just pray to god that you you find that strength to build yourself back up even though people try to you know tear their you know take their best to tear you back down and that is the true blessing to me because it's like everything that i've lived from i've survived i feel like that is such a blessing to be able to tell somebody you know, I was abused this way and this way and that way, found out who my father is, found out, you know, he was a celebrity and then never had a chance to see him, you know, being connected with him, even though I've been, you know, inches from connecting with him, like physical. And then I never did because of a fear of not understanding what a twin flame was, not understanding where that energy was coming from. And, you know, there's times I used to beat myself up about that when I, you know, I felt guilty and my dad kept on telling me, you know, it's not your fault. You didn't know, you know, there was deception in the whole situation. But being able to live and say that without crying, it, I mean, it's just, oh my God, it's just so beautiful to be able to do that. Even though it's a sad situation of never being able to connect with my dad again. But knowing that our energies connect like that, you know, there's a lot of people that have met my dad, had the pleasure of met, met, meeting my dad. And then there are a chance of them knowing me and they're like, Rosalind, y'all's energy is just so, it is just, that is, is the same. And it's just being able to do that and being able to help people by opening up and telling the things that I've, I've experienced as growing up as a child, as an adult, the things that I'm experiencing now, that is just like, has really placed me at this point right now and it's just so crazy because it's like my daughter graduates by the end of the week and you know and it's just like I know the universe is testing me right now and it's just like it's, it's right at that fork of the road like when I'm saying this and now it's just like you know I told my daughter 
you know, hey, you know, your grandparents, you know, even though she knows what happened and, you know, she still can't understand that concept. I said, if you want to invite them, you can, you know, and I'm just like, you know, I'm trying to be an adult about the situation. It's just like, you know, these folks really did some stuff to me and it makes me want to just, ah. but I said, this is where your true test comes in. And she's like, mom, they're coming. And I'm just like, I, I don't smoke anymore. I don't drink anymore. I said, I just have to meditate. That's all I got to do is just meditate. But that's where my true test comes in. When you know that the people you're about to face, the people that has done so much damage to your life and has messed you up in a mental way, you felt like you were going to lose it time and time again. And just being able to think about the things, grasp about what that is. It's going to probably scare them more than it scares me because the fact is, I know I didn't do anything wrong, but it's just the fact when you know you have done unlawful things that can, you know, get you like in trouble, like in the legal sense, you know, I, I mean, I, I'm just like, damn, <laughs> I'm like, oh God. So it's just like, it is to me, I think I'll be okay. I really am. I say I'm going to be okay. I'm going to go ahead and place it that way. But it's just like when I can no longer say I'm not the product of the things that you try to mold me out to be. That's the blessing. Because even though they've talked bad about me, you know, they've always done um, things above and behold to just like break me down in so many different ways. That, you know, and I know I must be telling the truth because as soon as I said I'm not a product of the things you molded me out to be, my phone just lit up. And that's just let me know, you know, hey, you, you're, you're growing, you're evolving, you're, you're you, you know, you're soaring. And that's just like, that's where I know my gift comes from. And I'm trying not to cry because that makes me emotional because that makes me proud of myself. When I know that I can stand in front of the people that have done everything they could to break me down, allow me to try to commit suicide because you're wanting to get my, my dad's estate, you know, all these different things that you have tried to place in my life to try to break me down and have people see me in the worst kind of way. I'm none of these things. I will not become one of these things, no matter how hard you try. I will never be that. But I'm becoming the things that they try to place upon my life. It's been so beautiful to me being able to rise above all the madness and the chaos that's been placed on my life is truly a blessing because anytime i'm able to read a comment and knowing that something that i went through that i'm able to honestly tell you about can help somebody in some kind of way to give them sense and at least a peace of mind to know that you know what if Rosalind has been through this whole situation you truly know what i've been through you, you if you've seen videos from when I first started talking about the grief, uh, the abuse, my adoption story, any of, any of those things that I've been placed in, you would truly know like, God, dog, how, how can you, you know, because there's people I've been on one-on-one -on -one with and they're like, girl, you didn't try to kill these. No, no, this wasn't about them. It's more about me, you know, about what I can do with my life. What, you know, because it's like sad when I can, you know, I, I mean, I've sat up here and been mad when I've seen videos of people killing their parents and it was just something mental wrong with these folks. That was the devil speaking to them. And it's just like, they didn't even have anything horrible happen to them. <laughs> I'm just like, I would kill for God on parents like that. And you took yours out of here. How dare you? How dare you? And I've wanted family like that. And you were blessed with somebody like that. And you took them out just because you, you weren't able to get what you wanted at the time. You know, and it, I mean, it could have been something simple like you weren't able to play a game or they shut you down from MySpace or whatever. I'm like, what the hell? What's wrong with folks? But going through something like that has truly been a blessing to me. To be able to know I've unbecome everything that people have placed along my life. Being able, you know, people tend, if they can't control you, and I've said this before many, many times, if people can't control you, the narcissist cannot control you, they will control how people see you. They will place things in people's ear to have them look at you crazy or whatever, making them seem like, oh, they're the victim and you're the issue. You know, all those different things. And no matter what you place upon me and what you say about me, I know who I am. I know who I am. And I'm proud to say who I am. I'm a recovering chaos situation or <laughs> whatever. I don't know. I say I'm recovering. Because, you know, I, I've ascended. I, I was like that phoenix that came out the fire, you know. 
being able to rise above all these things that's been placed in my life is truly a blessing. But this is going 15 minutes. So you know, I love talking to y'all, but I don't want to have to say peace and be out because this is already 15 minutes long. And I say anything is over 15 minutes, I already take three and a half hours just to upload. So I will say my, my shout out to my next video. So much love to you. Peace. Be wild.